fish. Heavy fish. It's close to he was jumping. Got him on a Rapala. Ooh. Ooh. Hard to control him on this side of the kayak. Oh, he's beautiful. Of line. I'm gonna have a problem. So there's the lure, nothing special, just your standard small silver and black, you know, shad pattern Rapala. A floater, not a sinker. And uh, I was trolling right at 2.4 miles an hour with that Rapala about four to five feet deep max, I would say. So here's a look at that rainbow. That's another impressive fish here from Collins Lake. Big planter rainbow, that's what you come here right. for. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Now that fish you saw me catch in the beginning of this video, well he grabbed that lure right there. That is a floating Rapala. It's about, I'm not sure what size it is, but it's about an inch and three quarters long. Um, now that's not the biggest rainbow trout I ever caught, and certainly it's not huge by Collins Lake standards, but uh, I think we can all agree it's a very nice fish. It was upwards of three pounds, maybe a little over, maybe a little under, but a very solid rainbow. So the question is, I get this question a lot, you know, if you are looking for big trout, should you be pulling a big lure? If you were out looking for, you know, really big trout, should you be pulling, you know, big Rapalas like this or, or even larger? And uh, I kind of have a unique perspective on this. I think a lot of the time, whether we're talking about trout fishing, stripers, lingcod, whatever, I think the rule is very true. Big bait equals big fish. But we got to really look at our trout fishing from a broader perspective. Now, there are specialists out there that they love to go out and pull these big baits and they catch big fish, but they also have a lot of patience. They don't catch nearly as many fish as I do or most people do because they're just looking for the big boys. Now you can catch some smaller trout on these lures, but you're not gonna catch nearly as many small to medium sized trout on a Rapala like this as you are on a Rapala like this, okay? so. What my philosophy is, and if you look at my, my basic lures, and you've seen me catch big fish on these lures, and you've seen me catch pan-sized fish on these lures. Hold up one of my trolling flies here. Now look at that fly. That is a very good pond smelt and shad imitation, but look at the length. Look at the length of that Rapala. Pretty similar. Let's look at the length of this fly, and the length of a, uh, in this case, an orange, orange on chrome. Trigger spoon. You're starting to see the similarity in size. Now that's not to say that I don't run smaller lures. At times, I'll run very small lures like this Trigger Spoon Junior. But my overriding philosophy is I'm trying to match what the fish eat most of the time. Most of our lakes have a forage base of either pond smelt or threadfin shad, and most of the time, our trout, whether they're small, medium, or large, if they're feeding on natural forage in places like Folsom, um, Shasta, wherever, here comes a car, so you might hear some noise. Um, Folsom, Shasta, wherever, they're eating bait that ranges from an inch and a half to about three inches long, and I find that by running lures that are in that inch and a half to three inch long size range, I catch a broad mix of trout. And uh, I'm trying to catch big fish, absolutely, and I rig up for big fish, but I'm also trying to catch the biggest possible number of fish. And if I can put on a lure like this, like this, like this trolling fly, or like the, you know, the trigger spoon, a lure that is gonna catch pan-sized fish, smaller fish, but be large enough and bulky enough to attract the attention of really big fish, knowing that they're all essentially targeting the same bait, well, 
I like to go with my highest percentage lures and that's why I'm almost, you know, almost always running lures in that probably one and a half to three inch size range. Now, if the fish show me, you know, they're finicky that day or they're playing hard to get, you know, I may well drop down to the Trigger Spoon Junior or to something even smaller like a Dick Knight, something like that. And if I'm, I'm running threaded crawlers or big crawler isn't working for me, you know, I might downsize that worm until I'm pulling something about an inch long. But just, you know, overall broad perspective, I think if you want to maximize the number of trout you're catching, and you know, as well as catching some big trout throughout the season, you wanna to stick to those baits that are in that one and a half to three inch size range. I think those are gonna serve you well. Now there are certain times or certain circumstances, I lost my big Rapala, it's hanging right here. There are certain times, certain circumstances where a big lure like that is gonna pay dividends. Lake Elmanor, Lake Tahoe, but I think for the average guy, the guy that's not a, you know, a, a dyed in the wool trophy hunter, I think you want to use the big lures situationally, but you want to use those one and a half to three inch lures most of the time. And I think that's going to take you a long way to having, you know, success day after day after day, consistency, and you're going to catch plenty of big fish mixed in. After all, I caught my seven pound rainbow, my biggest, you know, wild rainbow to date on a fly very similar to that right there. I, I was running one that had a little bit of dark on the back, but in terms of size, that lure was that big and I hooked that big old seven pound rainbow on it. So anyway, that's kind of my philosophy. That's how I think about lure size. Do I believe that the big baits equal big fish? Absolutely, but I think, you know, we have a limited amount of time on the water, a limited amount of days. I fish a lot, but I still have a limited amount of days on the water and, uh, I love to feel that tug, so I want to catch a maximum number of fish while not crossing the possibility of big fish, you know, off the menu. So that's just kind of my philosophy on lure size. Yours may vary. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you're looking for trout tackle, you know where to go. Um, the Fish Hunt Shoot Productions website, check out my store, rods, reels, lures, spoons, all the stuff you see me using here on the channel at very fair prices, stuff that I stand behind.